This is this video is going to be put out later, so I'm going to go ahead and just start talking because markets are moving. Markets are live right now. It is the time is 11:15 Central Time, 12:15 Eastern Time on April 29th. It's Bob Icino from the Pure Exposure Growth Series, uh, Path Trading Partners, the Stock Think Tank, and I'm here with my partner in the latter two Path Trading Partners in the Stock Think Tank, Mike Arnold. Mike, how are you, buddy? I'm doing well. So I'm looking at the NASDAQ right now, as I talk to you, it's up about two spots, six, one in a percentage basis, 229.50 in the futures, as I look at it right now, with the futures trading about 89.47 now. We don't necessarily care about this stuff. I'll just touch on the markets moving based off of a couple of things. We had GDP this morning uh, down big. GDP was down, I believe it was about 4.8%, might be a little bit, I might be off on that exact piece of data. That's after five days ago, four days ago, we had durable goods down 14.4%, but the market does not care because there was some good news on Gilead's remdesivir treatment. Again, you and I don't really care why things are moving. So let's just talk about a couple of things that we're actually in because both of us are medium term bearish, even though we're rallying right now. Is that wrong to characterize you as medium term bearish? No, I'm definitely medium term bearish, but you got to go with the trend until it ends. So we are, we are short-term long, four specific names um, that I'd like to talk about with you real quick. And one of those is Cisco. Now we got long Cisco uh, a while ago, right? When did we get long Cisco? I don't remember. No, oh, it's been a while. Uh, let's see. What date did we get long? On the 7th. Got long Cisco on the 7th. Entry price was what? You have that stuff in front of you. 41.50 we got in. All right, and Cisco right now uh, is trading substantially higher. Where I'm actually going to pull it up. 43.15, just going to move the stop to break even now. All right, so that's something we do. And this is within the stock think tank is we uh, get into a trade. And especially in times where we're not really aligned with the market and what our view is, is we work with these trailing stops. And so we've got that stop where you said it's going to be a break even right now. It's Today it's being moved to uh, break even, which is 41.50, you know. It's Cisco's sort of been underperforming on this rally. Those, you know, Nasdaq's up pretty big, and Cisco's been underperforming on a percentage basis. So we're just ratcheting up the stock. It's trading against very key uh, resistance right now. Resistance is at forty three fifty. That was pretty much yesterday's high. So we're trading, and right now we're trading forty three eighteen. So we're just going to make sure, in case it can't get through this resistance, that uh, worst case you know, it's, it's nearly a break even trade. All right. So correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if it breaks through this resistance, that's almost like a relief, right? It's kind of like the top of a, a tea kettle boiling over when it hits up against resistance like that and gets that driver. And do you know offhand when earnings are for Cisco? Yeah. Uh, earnings are on the 13th of May. All right. So we got some time in that one. Let's take a look at ORI, which is Old Republic. We're in that as well, right? Or in that from uh, 1550. So ORI we're in from 1550 and I have it currently trading around 1664. That one, we're going to be a little bit more aggressive with the stop. Am I right about that? That one, yeah, the stop's coming to our entry price today. Again, break even. We have some pretty decent overhead resistance on this one, especially up around 17. So, yeah, so we're, going to make sure because this, this one's pretty volatile. It moves around a lot and we don't want this one turning into a loser. They had a uh, big miss, wasn't surprising on their mm -hmm. miss on earnings, but they've rallied off of that. So it's, it's always good to potentially eliminate undue risk in, on that one. All right. So that's uh, another stock we want to look at, LDOS. I can't, well, how do we pronounce that? Leotis? You don't know either. I yeah, I, you told me to do it uh, phonetically. <laughs> so, but again, you pointed out that you can't even say the word phonetically, phonetically. So the other right. thing is it's biotech. Um, it's got a nice little run going there. It's paused a little bit. We're in that one from about where, Michael? We're in that one from 101.65. That was like two days ago, right? We entered that on the 27th. 27th, so... And I've got that one trading right now. Again, we're recapping. So it's about 103.97. 
as I talk to you right now, we're recapping things that we put on in the stock think tank product. Um, but they are also things that we could potentially talk about on the free show, which May 4th, we're doing Pure Exposure Live redo because we had technical problems. And if any of you have been paying attention to this channel, we've been playing around with this live function um, on the channel as well, trying to get these, get our kind of ducks in a row. But this one, it looks really good on the chart to me, this uh, Laotis Holdings, if we're saying that right. I really like the path that it's on. And I also like the industry for right now. There's some, as I mentioned, there's some good news on Gilead. It has nothing to do with Leotis, but we've broken through some resistance on this one already. We've got a decent path up to our target. Where do we have our first target on that one? The first target is 112.33. We're moving up the stop again today. We're keeping it below our rotation zone, but we're ratcheting it up slowly. We're giving this one a lot more room because it could easily return to the rotation zone and rotate back up. There's key support now coming in about 99.50 to 100 bucks. So, and that's in our rotation zone. So again, our stop's gonna be way below that. I'm gonna just ratchet up to 94.95. So that's the new stop approximately 94.95? Yep, that'll go out today. So theoretically, if someone wanted to get in this now, there's still plenty of risk reward on that. I mean, I don't recommend it personally, but we can't really stop people from going while they're- No, but this one, and a pullback to around 100, you know, and if it holds that key support, that's just a, that's just a natural uh, rotation back up. Yeah, and that won't bother us, obviously, because nope. it won't. Yeah, it won't be anything to do near our entry price. So last one we want to look at is one we also got in, I believe on the 27th or the 28th, um, was Lulu, Lulu Lemon. Uh, we actually got on that on the 23rd. Oh, we did. So we did really well on that one in terms of our entry. That again, yeah. again, we're entries in the stock think tank. So what was the price entry on that one? 212. All right. So we got it at 212. Our members got that one. They bought um, on the morning of the 23rd. I've got us trading about 236.04 right now. And this is one of the things that we talk about a lot is that individual equities is the way you outperform because even though we've got a good strong day today where virtually everything is up, that isn't always the case. So you want to be in good stocks. But Lulu is also one of our special plays. It doesn't fit our core portfolio, right, Mike? It doesn't fit sort of the, uh, some of the scans we use, the value, the more value oriented scans. Uh, so yeah, it has to fall in the special play. Right, so what we're trying to do is take a portfolio approach to things. And that's why we've got a core batch of stocks. And then we've also got these special plays for people who decide to be a little bit more aggressive with us. But anyway, just wanted to go over this stuff on a rallying day. Uh, next time we go live, maybe we'll go over this stuff on a falling market so that we can also just kind of be honest with everybody. Not every one of our trades wins. As a matter of fact, we had a loser on... Uh, what, what was that, S-O-Y-B uh, that we got out of this morning on the open. So not trying to represent that every trade wins by going in on an update. We'll do a live stream on a down day as well. Thank you guys for watching. And again, May 4th, we've got our remake of the prior show where we had all our technical problems. Uh, we've got Serge Berger again. We've got uh, Kumal Shri Kumar. We've got Mike, as always. Uh, we've got Scott Bauer, who got like 30 seconds on the last show because of our technical problems and Jim Iorio. We should have some announcements with Jimmy coming in the near future. You guys that got to see this live, thanks for watching. Uh, those of you will send this out to you as well so you get to watch this at a later hour. Cheers, everyone. Thanks again. And uh, you've been mini exposed. Okay, live stream has stopped. All right, so I never saw it pop up in the pure exposure.